to um, encourage folks to respond to some of the questions that we're asking ourselves so we can really make this a roundtable conversation. So if you're so inclined to um, jump into the conversation, please raise your hand and we'll run the mic over to you so that your voice can be captured on the captions. And because we're a small group, I hope you'll feel comfortable also introducing yourself um, as well before you pose your question or your response. Why? 
And 
That's when 
and um, uh, feel like I'm getting a little bit off track of how, um, uh, maybe I'll just conclude by saying, for me as a curator, I'm very drawn to um, dance or performance projects that um, do help me investigate the structures of the institution and how I can uh, push the
to. I am thinking about how performance, play performance and institution of performance in the visual arts space feels like intervention.
slowly and dark, and it became a franchise. It became this bright white, uh, overlit plastic chain. You know, so people were, he meant the sense of like, performance art becoming bad. Now, what's interesting to everybody on this panel, you come from dance or theater, and back then the situation was people coming from dance or theater were coming, they wanted, oh, I want something. So they were coming out. But the spectrum of performance art, actually, there's another spectrum way out here, which is very messy, very uh, no restrictions on nudity, no restrictions on language, you know, you use a message you want, you're throwing you know, body parts on the floor, you're doing a lot of stuff like that. Now, some of that stuff has gotten into museums, but uh, there's always this challenge. I, I like how he said, not have it be an intervention. And I remember some of the very flexible and Jewish stuff, uh, he didn't ask for permission. Sort of the, uh, attitude. So I, I mean, it's very curious to see this. That there's still a fear out there. I think some people feel it. And even when it went to Washington Hall, when Seattle was founded, there were a lot of people saying, well, that's even too institutional. Because when performance art became centered in Seattle and Washington Hall, a whole dimension of Seattle performance art disappeared. Particularly people relating to video, people, a lot of nudity, or certain kinds of other. All the dimension people didn't want to be in that hall. So, but there's also other restrictions. There's a board, there's permissions, there's all that stuff. And they didn't want the energy consumed, and I understand this even now, it's even a bigger challenge. You don't want the energy consumed by doing the intervention part. You want the energy in putting something up there. And the other thing that does is, we probably point to a visual art space again, does the other traditions get respected fully? I, I just saw a show um, about 10 years ago where someone, they, they brought into a museum, again, I won't mention names and stuff because this got a lot of good press. But I was really disappointed because it really was, you could see the whole approach from the museum side was that, but you got all this art on the walls. That's the real show. But the show, well, they're just kind of entertaining for this afternoon as just a side show. And so that, that whole point of when it comes into institutions, the danger of becoming a sideshow or a way to get a different audience in the museum. Now we've got to enter nothing with the, the pictures. So that was one thing. So those are the my comments on that. So do you feel, uh, my question to the panel is, do you, do you feel things are too clean in museums? Do you feel too restricted in the museums on the level of content as well? I mean, there's a whole problem with the body, which you point out pretty well. The whole, that have the body um, and that the mess that things have to be permitted without having to go to someone and say, can I get a written permission to walk down the hall? Do I need my hall pass to play in your place? Um, so I just want to know how you feel in terms of the cleaning up of performance art because there's still a lot of people who feel that the last 20 years has been way too clean. Things just been, you know, the stuff that goes on in Vietnam is just all very scrubbed clean.
at this point, I think bringing dance into the museum does feel like an intervening act, in a way. Because it is, it is not yet just one other thing alongside the rest. And so I think there's an inherent institutional critique in just, in doing this. Um, and so I, I hear what you're saying, and I think, yes, in some ways, I think my experience of the museum has felt like we need to, we need to be clean. Um, but I, I think I'm, I think I'm more interested in, in what marks the body leaves for those who, who believe in that, and, and how a space is changed forever.
I was also thinking about, I've seen really good performances done in places like the subway or a uh, parking lot, a uh, parking structure, or like Peter Bausch and stuff at the construction site and that kind of stuff. So I know there's, there's a long history of this kind of stuff. And, and I see, I can imagine, especially, I can imagine your work in other sites like that. So I can just see that even the whole context of your rings is somehow restricted once you walk into those doors, where I can see you working on another whole white woman, even just like a construction site that's almost a ruin with a graffiti battle or something. The, the, the context you could work with would just really expand your work, and it'd still be your work. So I, 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 I my conception, just my, my experience, I see the work when you guys come inside and say, oh, man, my mind's going like, wow, look at this. Thank 
I think it's 